Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new Klein CL450 HVAC clamp meter with differential temperature. This meter measures both AC and DC voltage up to 1000 volts. It measures up to 600 amps AC current and it measures up to 60 million ohms of resistance. It also measures DC millivolts, which are one thousandth of a volt, and it measures microamps, which are one millionth of an amp. The CL450 is an automatically ranging true root mean squared meter. A true RMS meter is widely preferred because it can accurately measure both sinusoidal and non-sinusoidal AC waveforms. This meter is rated CAT4 600 volts. CAT4 is the highest rating given by the International Electrotechnical Commission and it means that this meter can withstand a voltage surge of up to 600 volts. The meter display has large, easy to read numbers and it has dual backlights to aid visibility which you can use when needed. The CL450 is designed to withstand a six and a half foot drop. One of the outstanding features of this meter is its ability to take temperature readings. These ports are for K-type thermocouples, which are used for measuring temperature. The meter comes with two K-type thermocouples. Let's say I would like to take the temperature of this freezer. First, I'll slide the temperature probe input switch to the left which opens up the terminals. Then I'll plug one of the K-type thermocouples into the T1 terminals and I'll turn the selection dial to temperature. We see that the ambient temperature of the air is 82 degrees. I can change the Fahrenheit reading to Celsius by long pressing the orange select button and I can change it back to Fahrenheit by again long pressing the select button. Now I'll put the probe in the freezer. To get an accurate reading, leave it in the freezer for a couple minutes. We see that the freezer is approximately 18.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'll plug the second K-type thermocouple into the T2 terminals. I've had this probe in the refrigerator for a couple minutes for accuracy. Now we see that the smaller digits, which are labeled T2, show the refrigerator to be approximately 47 degrees. Now let's find the differential between the two temperatures by pressing the orange select button. The differential is 28.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now I'll show you how to test for amperage with this meter. The first thing you do is you turn your meter to amperage. That's the A with the um, AC symbol after it. So it's on amperage and then I'm going to turn on the uh, backlight. This is a very nice feature of this meter. We're going to test the amperage of this fan while it's in use. And what we've done, we've plugged the fan into an AC line splitter, which goes into the receptacle. And the, the splitter has a times one area and a times 10 area. We're going to use the times 10 area, which makes it more accurate. But then when we get the reading, we'll have to divide our reading on the meter by 10. So now I'm going to turn the fan on to speed one. And you see it reads 4.28 amps. Now we're on the times 10 area of the splitter. So the actual reading is 0.429 amps on speed one. Now I'll turn it to speed two. Okay, now we got 0.526 amps on speed two. And speed three has 0.63. And there's a button over here for hold. I just hold that right there and I'll turn the fan off. The, the hold button is right here, which is also the backlight button. So that holds the measurement where it was when I pressed the button. Let me show you something else. We'll put it back on amperage and we're going to put it on V plus A in rush. Press that. Long press it for two seconds. Turn the backlight back on. Okay, this is going to give you a starting amperage. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to speed one. 
and there it is right there that's your starting amperage that is your startup amperage um, that would be 0.449 amps startup amperage is higher than the running amperage it's it's higher at startup and it's an important diagnostic feature to test the AC voltage uh, plug in your leads uh, the black to the black on the red to the red and uh, turn the selector to voltage uh, this uh, this area is for AC and DC both so right now I have it on AC the default is AC it comes up right for AC voltage so I've got the leads in the receptacle right now and I have 122.1 volts and above that in, in smaller numbers at 59.96 Hertz and so it says AC over here so that's how you check uh, AC voltage and then take these out and then if you would like to check DC voltage you you press select and this puts you on DC voltage now I'll demonstrate how to test for resistance with this meter now when you turn the selector to these uh, four symbols here by default it comes up to continuity that's this little symbol right here it's like an audible symbol and that's a continuity but then if you press the select button one more time you get kilo ohms so so here's kilo ohms here's our resistor between the leads and we have 33.29 kilo ohms so that's how you would measure resistance with this meter I'll take the resistor out of the leads and if you press select one more time you have capacitance and then you have diode test then you press select again and once again you're at continuity so now we're on continuity and I can easily demonstrate this by just touching the leads together and of course there's continuity when you touch the leads together this setting is microamps DC it's commonly used to test heater controls so now I'm going to discuss Hertz percentage and here we see we are reading almost 60 Hertz and the smaller digits above say 50% uh, Hertz percentage and that means the duty cycle is 50% with the leads plugged into their receptacle we want 50% Hertz percentage that shows we have a good sine wave right now uh, coming into the house okay now I'd like to discuss low Z and low Z means low impedance impedance is the opposition of a circuit to a current the best way to demonstrate low Z is to put it on the regular voltage setting here um, and this is volts AC and you see there is a 0 0.007 and you, you move this around you get different readings at 0 0.008 and so forth these are ghost voltages and they're voltages that just have to do with the interactions of different wires in this receptacle here the basically the closer you get the higher the reading is going to be it's a uh, 0.27 so the ghost voltages are going to change and interact and so forth so if you put it on low Z you you just have zero you don't have any ghost voltages so that's the advantage of putting on low Z and low Z is good for both AC and DC the meter works as a non-contact voltage tester when you come to a electrical source the red light comes on and you back off the light goes off and so there's your non-contact voltage tester okay I have the fan plugged into the AC splitter and I have the clamp meter on the times 10 portion of the AC splitter so now I'm going to turn the fan on to speed 1 and I'm going to turn to amps and I'm going to show you how to use the max and minimum button so we're using 0 0.408 amps right now so let me press the max minimum button 
So you can see that the max is 0 0.409, and you see real time right here. Uh, the actual amperage being used is 0 0.406 or 7. So now I'm going to press the uh, minimum. Okay, so the minimum is 0 0.406. And then the next one is average. See, 0.407 is average. And 0.409 is maximum. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use relative mode. That's this button right here, relative mode. And uh, currently I have the fan on and it's plugged into the line splitter. The line splitter is on 10 times. So we're uh, reading uh, 3.97, but the actual reading is 0.397 because we're on 10 times. So I'm going to press relative right there. Okay, uh, we're, we're now just even with what it was, and it changes a little bit now and then. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is turn up the fan to the next level. There we go. Now, this is the relative reading right here. We are using up, since it's on the 10 times scale, 0 0.092 more amps than we were previously. So that's how you use relative reading. This is the actual reading right here, and uh, this is relative to when we press the relative button. If you press select, it will change to low pass frequency mode, and that is for diagnosing high frequency motors. In conclusion, I'm blown away by this meter's features at its price point. The display is large and easy to read and the backlighting is excellent. The selector is easily used with your thumb and the settings are well laid out. But in my opinion, the biggest plus for this meter is the differential temperature capability, which is a game changer for meters in this price range. I'll put a link for the Klein CL450 HVAC meter. I'll also put a link for the new Klein CL380 True RMS clamp meter, which is also an HVAC meter. It's uh, similar to the CL450 in that it is full featured. It has the black screen with the white letters. The big difference is that it's less expensive than the CL450, but it doesn't do differential temperature. It'll take temperature, but it doesn't do the differential temperature. Also, I'll put a link for the Klein 10 times AC line splitter, the new Klein 8-in-1 HVAC multi-tool, the new Klein 7-in-1 nut driver, the new Klein combustible gas detector, and the new Klein hybrid multi-purpose pliers. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.